Hey guys, it's Rochelle. So today I'm going to show you how you can make some ridiculously easy vegan mac and cheese. So sometimes I feel like making mac and cheese and I really wish that I had easy mac or something kind of easy. That way I don't have to dirty like three different pans and go through all this trouble. But this is a really easy way to make it. It's really delicious. You're only going to need three to four ingredients and what's not great about that? So I hope you guys give it a go. It's going to be a pretty short video and it'll be ready in a flash. So let's get started guys. So I put in about two and a half cups of dried macaroni noodles here. You could use pretty much any other. crazy to put uncooked noodles in the oven, but it actually works out quite nicely, <laughs> and I think you guys are going to be very surprised. Okay, that's three. We're going to do three and a half. So we have two and a half cups of noodles, of the macaroni noodles, and we have three and a half cups of almond milk. Then I'm going to take this dye here and I'm going to mix this in. And literally, all you do for this, this mac and cheese recipe, is you mix and put in the oven. And who doesn't want that? Probably should have put a bigger hole in this dye bag, but whatever. I'm using cheddar flavored dia, and you're just going to pretty much mix this around. You could add anything else you want at this point, if you wanted to add some, some vegetables, or like some seitan, or maybe some TVP, or something, maybe some pepper, or maybe a little bit of salt, depending on how salty your cheese is. Maybe one and a half cups to two cups, <coughs> excuse me, of this shredded vegan cheese. Okay, and you guys, this is literally it. I'm gonna top it with a little bit more cheese. I'm gonna cover this little puppy and I'm gonna put it in the oven. I know that it looks really ridiculous right now, but it's not gonna look so ridiculous when it's done. <laughs> All right, I promise. So I'll see you guys soon. take kind of a long time, maybe an hour, maybe 45 minutes, depending on your oven and depending on how much milk you put in. It just kind of depends. It will take a little while, but I mean, it's one pan. It's just in the oven. It's such a no-brainer. It's so easy. I mean, seriously. Yes. So, yeah. I'm just waiting for that to finish, and I'll see you when it's done, huh? like I said before. Okay, so it's been in the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes. And as you can see, it is nice and cooked and good. And it needs a tiny bit more, but first I'm going to add a little bit more dia on the top and then some vegan breadcrumbs, which is totally optional. You could just put a little more cheese on top, 
Or you could just, you know, weave it, you know, without extra cheese or anything, just leave it the way it is now. And yes, but I think it's going to make the presentation look a little nicer and it's just going to give it kind of a an extra an extra something. Okay. I'm going to put on the breadcrumbs here. And I'm probably going to sprinkle on a little fresh parsley after it's almost completely done. Sorry this lighting is a little bit a little bit bad. You can't quite see the texture as much as as much as I would like you to. But you can kind of see it. Okay, so probably about a fourth a cup or more of breadcrumbs. Just to give it kind of that authentic traditional mac and cheese taste. Okay, and I'm gonna put this in the oven without the, the foil on to get it kind of a nice brown um, crispiness going on. And I'll show you when that's done. Okay, well it's out of the oven and the cheese is nice and melted and great. I took some out and I put it on a plate. Look at that. See how the, the macaroni absorbed all of the delicious cheesy milkiness. You can't really see the quite as nice of a texture as I would like, but it is so amazing. Just look at that cheesiness. It's like, it's really cool. Let me see if I can get a little bit of a better light. But this is the best and most delicious, easiest vegan mac and cheese you will probably ever have. It's pretty darn awesome, you guys. Put a little bit of parsley on top. But ba da. And there you have it. It's delicious, a little hard to see in this light, but I recommend you go make it because it comes together in a flash and you have this. It's great. Alright, you guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.